All right, and I'm back. More Minecraft. Matt's here again. Hey, what's up? Sound like a broken record, but. Right. Uh, okay, so to answer your question, Matt, we've got this new building going up there with the lava pillars as like um, supports or whatever. That's going to be the new smelting building. So it's just going to have okay. shitloads of furnaces and stuff like that. And areas where we can smelt stuff for experience. And then other areas where there's just a whole automatic system set up if we need to do like bulk amounts of other things. Okay. So yeah, I'm working on that. To finish it, I'm going to need some more netherrack. So I'm going to need to go to the nether and... Luckily, that is really easy to gather, because it doesn't take long to mine. Just uh, up on my pyramid, hoping I run into... Oh, no, not a creeper. Damn it. I hate creepers. Any zombies all over the trees? Yep. Still trying to get that to happen. I still think you didn't get one last night. No, I still only have the one, but I did make, so last night, obviously, I started that building. I made a good chunk of progress on the glass tunnel. Okay. And then I finished the tunnel between our main base and your area, the one that's, like, going down at bedrock. Okay, so, so what did you do for that? I just, com I just finished it. Like, I got through that whole lava section and everything. Very cool. So that's all done. And then I made a little more progress on top of my pyramid. And that was that was mostly what I did. So, yeah, this building looks cool. You're a lava building? Yep. I really like it. Yep, I think so. I think it looks good. But it's I've got a lot more I need to do on it, so more to come um, I think I want to do that now actually so I'm gonna go see how much of that netherrack is cooked oh pretty good that's right I don't have anything else there Hmm. I hope I have enough another act to finish this building. still working on your castle thingy? Yep. Cool. Alright, let's get this part done. You're still chinking away at it. there, but I'm going to need to do more on the ceiling. As far as the floor goes, I'm not sure how I want to do that. Actually, I think I'm going to I'm going to raise this whole thing. Oh no. Hmm. I got to think about this. I think we leave it like that.
There we go. Hey, what's up, Yeri76? And Mr. Fury, if you're still out there, what's up, dude? I can live with that, I think. Okay, yeah, let's go with... For floors... I think a combination of diorite and andesite is in order for this one. I was like, oh, where'd all my andesite go? But then I remembered. You're putting it to good use. I'm glad yes, I'm am. glad you're using it because I mean I've been I th I would think I'd be using more andesite and all of that stuff. But for whatever reason I haven't. I do want to start using more nether brick though. Nether brick looks really good. gonna work here. Hey, good evening, Christina. Welcome back. Hmm. Okay, I think that's okay. Oh shit. Oh man, I hate how that gets all... Direct. Go around the edges with this. Okay, let's put the doors back up. So I'm kind of hmm. thinking of taking your wall down a little bit. It, this doesn't need to be, I don't think it needs to be up that high. Um, yeah, do what you want. <clears throat> I put it up that high at that spot because the ground down below there was dark and it was high up enough that skeletons could hit me up on the wall. So I got it up high enough so skeleton, uh, sorry, so skeletons couldn't do that. Well, I mean, I could keep it, it's just going to be a really long drop. Yeah, I mean, when when we get enough brick to like get close, if you want, I can come through and smooth it out. Since, I mean, I kind of just left that hanging that way anyways. Or yeah, or if you just want to modify it, dude, it doesn't matter to me, whatever. I'm just trying to think here, how do I want to do this? That's gonna look nice. Oh, I don't know why I put one there. And I think with this, I feel like I need to do some kind of a porch thing here. Don't know about 
this. I'm having so many second yeah, second um, thoughts about how I'm doing this. Now what if I do it like this instead? like little pillars up. Okay, yeah. I like this better. Gives it just a little more depth. Oh, no, no, no. no. How do I want to do that? Oh, wait, no. I do need it like that. about this in the back of my head exactly how I want this to work with the slabs coming up. I think I do want the doors elevated up a block like that so I can have a little raised stone slab porch here. Yeah, let's just start getting this floor in and we'll see how it ends up looking. take those up down there well no that needs to be stone, double stone slabs there Okay, now let's dig this back. So, Christina, what is on the agenda for this evening? Tonight, I may finish this building. I'm at least going to make some progress on this. I'm super excited to get this building fucking wrapped up. I will definitely work on the glass tunnel some more. I'm really excited to start a new base out in, um, out in that mesa biome. And... I don't know. What's on the agenda for you tonight, Matt? Um, I don't know. Um, I guess we can wait till you get the uh, pathway done, and then you know keep working on this while you're doing that. Just on the castle? Um, probably. I mean, you know, try to find some clay. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that'll be another thing I'll put some effort into doing tonight. Is getting some 
More clay. Um. So Christina asks, what do you think of the smelting building, Matt? Um, looks pretty good so far. I mean, can't wait to see the finished product. Um, are you going to set up a whole bunch of different hoppers for automatic feeding? Yeah, I'm, I, that's why I'm making it so big. I want to have areas for like a ton of automatic shit and then areas that are not automatic where you come and collect the items so that we can have a good source of experience points. Okay, I like that idea. Yeah, because yeah, we're definitely robbing ourselves of the experience. Yeah, yeah. And you had mentioned that at one point a while back, so I, I decided, like, when I eventually did get around to doing this building, I was going to do, um, do that. Make sure that we could get good experience from it if we needed to. I was thinking, too, of maybe hooking up some kind of a redstone system that, like, starts playing some note blocks or something when when some set of furnaces is done smelting to tell us like we need to come get it before all the fuel gets wasted oh now that would be interesting like a constant dinging sound yeah yeah it wouldn't be too hard to rig up i mean all we need is like another chest with a comparator and you know it shouldn't be too hard to do But, first things first, I gotta finish this fucking building. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have done it that way. I'm blocking myself out here. Well, this one building is definitely going to go through a lot of my diorite and andesite. Oh, good. So, yeah, good, bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which it is. All right, let's go get the rest of that nether rack. That should be done. I really want to finish up this wall over here. I hate having that gap. I wish you could mail mats to other servers. That would be freaking fantastic. <laughs> If, like, we knew someone else running a server that had, like, a surplus of one material and we could trade with them. Oh, that would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Mail would completely take the fun out of the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, unless you purposefully set up, like, a series of servers where you purposefully segment off people that fo specialize in certain things. But, yeah, if it was just on, like, a global open market, that would be... That would be uh, a little rough. Okay, what do we have left? It's 24, 30. All right, sweet. What's up, Atrez? <laughs> you lurk in this channel too much? Well, I'm... I'm glad you've been around. I haven't seen you typing much in chat, but just knowing you're there. <laughs> makes me and feel all... Is half the battle. I know. Makes me feel all warm and cozy. So cozy. There we go. 48 more nether brick. That's enough to finish at least what I need to do with the first floor. I'm not sure how, what, if anything, I want to do with like a second floor on this building, but I will probably do something. I've got some ideas at least. Hey, Michelle, you are here. Welcome. You didn't get your cups? No. I have my last cup right here. The, my last seasoning beer cup. I 
And it's going to be at least a little bit till I can get back and get more. I definitely, I'm, I think the choice to, to make the frame of my building out of lava pillars was a good choice. Yeah, you're definitely using lava a lot more on this, uh, on this map than before. Like, we never really use lava as a... I know, I know. That's, that's why I've been using it so much, because I realize it's something we've sadly underutilized, and it's so fucking awesome. Shovel is just too good. Like one slight tap and I break through two blocks. <laughs> Lava roof. Oh god. I probably should do a lava roof on this building. Now that the idea has been spoken. I like the idea. Yep. Make a sloped roof and then just put some lava at the top that like drips down the roof. There you go. Into the pillars. Yeah. Alright. I like this idea. Alright. Thank you for the suggestion, Christina. We're totally going to do it. It's too good of an idea not to do. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's four out that I've gone so far. So yeah, me and Isla got another Chrono Trigger stream in today. We got we're we've got eight endings so far in our new game plus. Nice. Or well, I guess seven endings. One ending from the original run, and then seven endings in the new game plus. Yeah, if you're still able to enjoy classic games, I recommend going back and playing it. I know for some people, I know the, the dated mechanics and stuff can just be too unbearable, but I know you like Final Fantasy 3 or 6 oh, yeah. or whatever. Yep, I picked up Final Fantasy 15. I got to say, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Oh good, you like it? Yeah, I really like the combat system. Sweet, I love Final Fantasy 15. I got, I'm at, I think I have like 140 something hours <laughs> that I've played it so far. Um... Yeah, really like it. Lava floor, keep your feet nice and toasted all the time. Uh, hmm, <laughs> lava floor. I'm, I think I might, I'm, I'm gonna be incorporating lots of lava. There may be sections of the floor that will be lava. Now, lava floor I have done in my old server, but don't think I have any lava floors going on here. But no, now that you mention it, I, I think I think I have a I have a thought for how that can go. So careful with those blocks because if I hold the click button, it's just gonna rip through five of them in an instant. Oh, god damn it. 
This isn't polished diorite. This is regular diorite. Totally skipped a step. Looks good. I like the automatic doors. Your what? I like the automatic doors to the lava area. Or to the smelting room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I figured iron door would be best. And, you know, that's, that's something I feel like... Like, what's the best way to handle an iron door? Is it with those switches there? Is it with a button next to the door? Like... I mean, obviously you could rig up some complicated redstone mechanism and then put a switch on the door, but because you need to be able to click it from both sides, it, that's, like, complicates it. There we go. I want this last... Set of polished diorite. Right, I think I'm gonna go at least one more in. So, Christina, you love Metroid, the old one. I have two copies of it on my uh, on the NES. Actually, here, hold on one sec. Show and tell time. Yeah, for a bunch of these, I still have these original, I don't know if you remember these old sleeves that they come in. There's Metroid. And what's this? Oh my god, it's Metroid! Oh! So, yeah. I've never actually beat Metroid, I've played a fair amount of it, but like being an old school NES game, it's, uh... I find it kind of difficult, like a lot of them are. All right, we'll just put those off to the side. I need to do more show and tell time with my video game collection, because, I don't know, I have a pretty good collection. I've got the, I've also got the uh, gold uh, original Zelda and Zelda 2. So I've got the gold versions of those. And I don't know, some other cool ones. I don't have anything super rare, but I think it's a pretty, pretty decent collection for what it is. Matt, do you still have uh, any of your classic games, like your N64 games or anything? No, I don't. Oh, that sucks. Did you sell them, or did your mom, or? You know, I don't know who got rid of them. I blame my mom. <laughs> yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah, I brought all that shit with me when I moved out on my uh, moved out on my own. So, literally every game that I bought and owned from a young age, I have on those shelves behind me because I just have this thing where I can't ever sell back games. I just have to keep them as part of my collection. And I'm glad. I'm glad I have that predilection. Your cat has a sticker on his foot, and he's none the wiser. <laughs> uh, do you mean like a sticker like that you would put in a sticker book? Or a sticker as in a thorn type plant? The music always creeped you out in Metroid? Yeah. Those games have, have they set a really good atmosphere. There's a really good sense of atmosphere through the game, rather. 
I, I like to keep a shelf of dinosaurs. Well, if you mean Yoshi, there are a couple Yoshis behind me. But yeah, those are all just Nintendo character things. Got a handful of amiibos. I don't have like a sweet amiibo collection like some people have, but I got a few. I have a yarn Yoshi. That's probably the best one that I have. Like the special sticker they put on special orders at Carl's Jr. <laughs> uh, Carl's Jr. Kitty. This floor mostly done. I'm gonna just get this actually. Uh, before I forget, I'm gonna go do these corners out here. Alright, so that means these two here. And this one here. Both of these. one over here you did not say poop <laughs> you don't know where like I just ignored it I saw poop and I was like that I'm just gonna assume that doesn't mean anything important it's like saying poop with a really fa fancy accent poop <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that really fancy? <laughs> yeah, really fancy. It's the fanciest accent, actually. Poop. Poop. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. I have such a childish sense of humor still. Alright, good. I got all those corners fixed. Let's go back in here. And keep going. second. I really have to go pool. Oh. I don't know why I'm just still amused by that. Oh, nope. I need to switch to... Andesite now. Polished andesite to be specific. Lava columns should be naturally providing some light in the corners of this building, at least. All right, just a little bit further to go. We'll have the floor done. Didn't take so long. Ah, damn it! Just tore through that shit.
<laughs> that's gonna be your new word. You can't stop laughing. Yeah, it's really good. Poop. I pooped my pants. Just realized something. These two blocks are an abomination. What's up, Lars Nowhere? Yeah, and I'm glad you did that typo too. That was a good typo. Some typos are great. So, Matt, I'm gonna have this floor at least wrapped up here before I move on to any other stuff. Is there anything you need any help with right now? Maybe some of that clay gathering? Play gather and begin, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll need to wait until the next uh, day cycle to run out and do that since it's a little bit of a run. I'm gonna take my horsey out there. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna be just shy of the materials I need. I can't believe I'm just like a couple blocks shy. All right. We will get just a little more diorite. I don't need a crafting table for this. the floor. I think it looks pretty nice. This is, this building's got a ton of room. It's going to be able to fit a whole lot of furnaces. So I need to visualize like kind of how I want to break everything out because I do want a section that does not automatically feed everything in and then one section that does. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> Lars, I'll save you some trouble. If you want to request a song, you gotta do it from the playlist, dude. Gotta do it from the playlist. All right. Well, while we wait for this next day to hit, well, do you need a bunch of dirt by for any reason? No. 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 I do not know know what to do with this dirt. I don't want to just, like, throw it away. Just throw it away. All what right. I've been doing. Okay, I'm throwing it away. I'm just throw it in this water over here. Oh, we'll keep a little bit. And yeah, let's keep all that on us. Okay. So I need to go up to the top. Actually, no, we're going to we're going to follow through on this lava floor thing. We're going to start with a spot on the floor that will serve as a lava floor. And then when we eventually get the roof done, we will lava roof it up. All right, that should be enough. on that 21 how many do I have in here 2, 23 that's not going to help me no thank you alright 
48. this tree needs to go to it's just kind of in it blocks the beautiful view of this industrial building damn nature is getting in the way of my put my polluting building side. Okay, good enough. Ooh, lava floor. A wavy lava floor at that. I don't know why I think it would be fun, but you should get some of those magma blocks that uh, burn you when you walk on them. Oh, yeah. From make the nether. Floor, yeah, make a whole floor out of that, so you need like fire resistant potion or <laughs> fire resistant boots to get across. Yeah. yeah, we could do like a Legend of Zelda Goron Mountain type of situation. Alright, yeah, that is badass. I like that. Yeah. Well, hmm. If now we're that you mentioned, that, though, we should do it in the net. We should do that in the nether in our lava port. Yeah, I mean, now that you've mentioned that, I kind of want to go to the nether and get a bunch of those blocks. I feel like there's a lot of cool ways you can incorporate those magma blocks into uh, various constructions and stuff. Oh damn it! I did fuck that up. I have to go fix that immediately. side. Okay, I need to be up here anyways because I need to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay.
here. Okay, I think what I need to do... Yeah, I'm gonna need a... I want... I need a lot more nether brick for what I want to do here. Because this is gonna be like a little patio up here. I want nether brick fence around this little border. And then... I kind of feel like I want to do... I want to get a little bit fancy here. Is that not the best way to do this? Hmm. So this side doesn't go quite as far. Please line up. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite. I'm gonna need to fix this. How do I fix this? one there. Oh, feeling a little too lazy to go extend this whole wall. But that's probably what should have been done. Yeah, not doing it. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Whatever. Okay, and then this whole section here, this is gonna contain, like, it's gonna do a roofy roof thingy. Thing that roofs do. Not sure how that's gonna happen exactly.
Oh my god, I just realized it's daytime again. No. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, up. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Just like left right over that. Just control, uh, copy the name of the song from the list and do it. So, yeah, if I do this, do songs list. Um, I think that actually did give you the same thing. And instead of Q, go down to playlist. So, on that songs request tab. There's a queue under it and playlist. Go down to playlist. And then just, uh, you know, go to the title. Highlight the whole thing. Copy it. And then do... Just like that. I just requested a song. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna need stairs too, and I'm definitely gonna do nether brick stairs. So let's wrap this part up here. Yeah, you gotta do, yeah, instead of the YouTube link, you gotta just literally, the literal text in the title on the uh, playlist thing.
Okay, so we need to fill that all in with nether brick when we get it. Then a roof is going to go on top of that whole thing. And... Hmm. Let me think about this. Oh shit, you did it! Good job. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place for me to switch gears. Let's take a little break from this building until I have more nether brick to work with. And I'm going to try to do a better job keeping an eye on the clock so that I can get to um, clay when the time is right. So let's put these buckets back in here. And then... Yeah, I think I'm going to more or less put all of these materials away. I'm really excited about this building. I'm excited to get it done. I think it is definitely looking like a cool building. And I have a lot more I want to do to it. Alright. Andesite. Polished andesite here. Throw. Where was I keeping stone slabs? I guess in here. some of that in there. I need more food. And while I'm thinking about this, I am going to go get, I'm going to go clean out some of these chests in here. I've been meaning to do that. This is what I'm looking for. Stone needs to go over there. And let's just get... We'll keep this on me. Oh, and I want to keep a stack of dirt on me. Always got to keep a stack of dirt. Some dirt, some wood, some cobblestone. And basic tools. It's good to have all those things at all times. Oh, I forgot to get my horse. I started using my horse a bunch. I, if you didn't notice on the back of your building mat, I put a, a horse... Um, what do you call it? Pitching area. Have you noticed that yet? It's on the back of your barn. Hello, Matt. Are you there? Sorry, I think I had you muted. You did. It's all good, man. Alright, let's put this birch in here. I've been meaning to get that offloaded. I'm going to need to make another run through the uh, tree farms because I've eaten through a lot of the wood that I went and harvested once I got those all done. For what? What did you use it on? Uh, my village up top. Um, I don't know what else I used it for. That was a big part of it, honestly. The village is, has been taking a lot. And then, fin oh, finishing our base, too. Our main base building here. Let's go get the horse. Now that I'm thinking about this horse, I gotta go get it. Okay. 
Can I be your smallpox? Oh, nope, that's not the one I need. Ah, oh, I love riding this horse around. So much more convenient. Well, since it's nightfall, this might be a good time for me to take a quick break and grab another beer. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and then as soon as daybreak hits, it's clay, man. Totally going to get that clay. All right, sweet. Uh, oh, wait. You know what? Before I step away, because I know <laughs> as I step away, I'm going to totally forget this. I'm going to replace my silk ruiner shovel with my other shovel so that I'm not getting the full blocks. Okay. So, done trouble. Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3. Yeah, that's what I want. Cool. All right, I'll be right back in one sec. All right.
Okay, I'm back. Ugh. Okay, I'm, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Perfect timing. Timing could not have been any better. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get my horse. Oh, I gotta go. I do need a fence post for if I'm taking them out with me. So let me go get this one. Oops, gotta switch back. Game window, haha. -ha. Hey, what's up, Lobarden? Yeah, I'm back now. Yep, I just, uh, fat finger. Hopefully you can see everything now. Okay, got my horse. And we are going to go get clay. Oh, waiting for daytime to continue tearing down some of your wall. Okay, yeah, just make sure you make the other side over there safe with that wall being lower. Or just cut yeah. down that cut down that mountain entirely if you need to. Yeah, that's what I'm working on doing. Okay. Se securing it. Although we will be on mine tracks and, you know, the chance of them hitting us while we're moving is pretty low. Um, yeah. That is true. Okay, yeah, I see what you're doing. Well, luckily we have all the chiseled stone we need to come in, or all the cobblestone we need to make the chiseled stone we need to fix all of that. How are you doing tonight, by the way, Lobarden? Hope you're having a good Saturday. Or Sunday, or whatever day. Right, I'm not sure the best way to navigate this with my horse, but I think it's going to be like this. Oh, well, in fact. Oh, there's the witch. Ah. She's not gonna get me. Not on my trusty steed. Alright. Please don't drown, horse. Okay, here we go. Clay! And I'm using a Fortune 2 shovel, so I should get a decent amount. Um, and yeah, Lobarden, I am doing well. I'm a little bit bummed because tomorrow I... Like, I have this week-long training. Or this Sunday through Friday training that starts at 5.30pm, so... I gotta get down and... 5.30 tomorrow we start. And it's pretty much all day, every day, 12 hours a day for um, through Thursday. And then we wrap up like midway through the day on Friday. So not going to be able to stream throughout the week. But next Friday and Saturday, the normal scheduled times, I'll definitely be on. Okay. 
Come on, more clay. I should have brought a boat too, damn it. I wish I could like put my horse in my pocket. <laughs> like or call for it. <laughs> yeah, just like store it in my inventory so I could like put my horse in my pocket, jump in a boat and go across the ocean. Damn, that squid looks aggressive. Yeah, so I think swamp biomes are supposed to be the best biomes for getting clay. Not just because there's so much water in them, but I think the clay has a higher percentage chance of spawning in swamp areas. I might really? might be misrepresenting that, but I thought I read that somewhere. So it's nice that we have access to so many swamp biomes near us, because as far as clay goes, it's definitely working out well. So I decided to take down that hill on the other side of the wall, so that way they can't shoot at us. Good thinking. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the best decision. Because if we're gonna lower that wall, there's just so I don't know. The, I think the easiest way to remedy that is just shave that fucking hill down. I think I gotta take my dog out. Cool. Doggy gotta go He's pee. Begging. Yeah. Uh, let me get to someplace safe here. You could do Damn, what but... my wife's mom does and just put piss mats in, in a spare bedroom and just have her dog <laughs> piss all over these piss mats. It's so gross. That sounds like a piss poor idea. Haha, uh -huh, it certainly is. It's also bullshit or dog shit. <laughs> Alright, does this. I wonder if this actually connects out to that big ocean biome. I think it does. Hmm. I feel like a project we could undertake is digging out certain areas and making a full waterway that connects all the way out to the oceans we discovered. That would be kind of fun. I think that would be awesome. I'm glad you agree. Just get some diamond shovels with efficiency. I mean, yeah, I've already got a bunch. It, this would be a very easy task to complete. And make it like two or three blocks deep so the water is deep enough to like traverse through and everything. Yeah, that was a good idea. Alright. Then let it be known that will be our next project. One of our next projects. <laughs> Who knows when we get to it. Add it to the list. I mean, at least there are things that are getting done. It's not like every goal we set out to do never gets finished. Right, yeah. And before long, I'll get to the point that my pyramid village is done. That's going to be a huge check mark. And then that smelting building, I've been talking about that for a while. That shouldn't take too much longer to finish. I'm gonna take my dog out real quick. Cool. So. I will see you in a little bit. Yep, alright, I will be right back. Okay. Oh, hello, squid. 
feel like I am one with the squid. Alright, let's get this last one and then let's get back to the horse and get back. It's going to be dark soon. I gotta stop doing that. I'm not leaving it on long enough. There we go. Okay, collect, collect, collect. Alright, I think I made out pretty well. Okay. Let's get back to my horse. Ah, yes, this should be no problem. Good horsey. I love my horse. Smallpox is such a good horse. And now that this wall is higher, I think I just... My new path has just come around here. Uh, that's cool. I like that entrance. We got to do something to make this entrance a little more, you know, a little more flashy. But we made it back. And with perfect timing, having this horse made definitely made a difference. And just think how long it took me to fi actually find a horse. I searched far and wide. I could do. I could probably just sleep since Matt's not logged on and then go out and get more. But I don't know. Ah, Dosakis. So good. Actually, let's go get some netherrack too, because I want to get. I want to get netherrack smelting along with whatever clay I have. I will leave that open. Oh, damn it, I did use it all. Well. Oh well. Maybe this would be a good time to run to the nether and do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That sounds like a good idea. So, what does that mean? I think that means I'm going to go put this back on that building over there. And 
We're gonna dock my horse over by the minecart track and we're gonna ride the minecart and we're gonna go into the nether and get some nether rack. Hopefully I'll get a fair amount of it too. And at some point tonight, I'll try to make sure to do another round of clay gathering. Because it would be nice to get that brick wall finished. This freaking pickaxe, I mean, it's only going to take me a couple minutes at most to fill up my inventory entirely with uh, netherrack. Maybe I'll get some magma blocks while I'm in there too. This is going to be cool. I'm excited to do this. And I'm going to clear, I'm going to start by clearing out the area around our nether portal because at some point we need to build a nether side base around our portal so we can at least come out into a safe area. Not sure why I haven't done that yet. Ah, uh, I'm glad I at least found a way to toggle that sound off for a long ride like that. So proud of this tunnel. Every time I ride this, I need to just sit here and soak it in. And be thankful for all the effort that my past self put into this. I remember all those long nights of slowly building this tunnel out and I'm already repeating the process with another tunnel it's so long We're almost to the turn. Getting closer. So, yeah, three and a half minutes for this ride. Seems like a fairly hefty distance. Oh yeah, <laughs> this chest. But I'm never going to get to picking that up. It's in such a worthless spot. Oh, I love this fucking tunnel. I love it. So good. Turn. And... Down. Hi, skeleton. You can't touch this. I'm in a perfectly safe glass tunnel. I always have to look in here when I come in here. Okay. Please let this be safe. Get to work. Oh my god. 
Oh, listen to that. That sounds so good. I love it. It's so satisfying. It's almost as satisfying as the sound of a shovel cutting through sand. That is awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm back. What's up, dude? I'm in the <laughs> I'm in the Nether. Oh, nice. Oh, this fucking pickaxe is just chewing through Netherrack like I've never seen anything do before. Oh, and just keep an eye out for my horse in case he leaves, but I have him anchored near the entrance to the long minecart glass tunnel that goes to our nether portal. Okay. And I, while I'm out here, I am getting a bunch of magma, magma blocks. Nice. So. <laughs> nice. Of course, no fucking quartz. Oh, here's some quartz. Oh god, don't come after me. Don't come after me. It's, it wasn't me that did it, Mr. Pigman. I love the sound of this pickaxe just chewing through this netherrack like this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Piggy! Hey, back. Okay. Okay, these zombie pigmen are making me more and more nervous by the second. I feel like they don't like what I'm doing to their home. Oh shit. I'm back. Okay. So you want to hear something kind of funny? What's up? So there's this lady outside my parking lot just passed the fuck out. Like drunk? I have no idea. Didn't care to ask. Yeah. There's this guy standing over her with his dog trying to get her up. I was <laughs> like, do you guys need any help? And he's like, well, she's, um, and that's all he said. <laughs> She's, um, and then that's it? That's it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 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 